Ask Allah for thabat. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep you firm. And be sincere. Be truthful. When the hadith of Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes to you, act upon it. Don't look to the right and don't look to the left. Look to the revelation, the kitab and the sunnah. What are you gazing to the right and left? What he's doing and what they're doing and what this masjid is doing? And what that masjid is doing? And look at all those people, look at all those sheeple walking in that direction. Maybe I should follow them. Window gazers. Just as you walk past a shopping complex and 20 people are looking into a shop window. So you start walking towards the shape, same shop window because you want to see what are they looking at. Maybe it is something good. Don't be like that, my brothers and sisters. Stop following people around. Follow the sunnah of Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Follow the way of the sahaba, radiallahu anhum. Follow the tabi'een and the atba'u tabi'een and the imams of ahlul hadith and sunnah. This is how you remain steadfast upon the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That takes courage. It takes a brave man and a brave woman to do that. To go against the grain. To be from the ghuraba is not easy. Holding onto hot coals is not easy. Before you are days of sabr, as the Prophet sallallahu said, in front of you, are days of patience. When holding on to the deen will be like holding on to hot coals. That's easy. That's not easy. It means people will abandon you and turn away from you. It means that people, 100 people will be going that way and you're walking in a different way. You say, where are you going, ya akhi? Everyone's over here. I'm not with everyone. I'm with the kitab and the sunnah and the sahaba on my own or with 10 or with a thousand or with a million. But the measure is not the number. The measure is kitab and sunnah. Al-jama'a ma wafiq al-haq. Law kunta wahdak. The jama'a is whatever is in accordance to the truth even if you are one person. This is salafiyya. This is what gives this dawah strength. Not numbers, not rubble, not everyone that calls out that you answer his call. Not clickbaiters. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, follow us. This is not what distinguishes haqq and batil. Subhanallah, he has 20 million followers. I don't care if he has 20 billion followers. Is he with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud? Is he with Ibn Umar? Is he with Abu Huraira? Is he with Abu Bakr? Is he with Umar? Is he with Sufyan of Tawri? And Fudail bin Iyad? And Muhammad bin Idris al-Shafi'i? And Ahmed ibn Hanbal? Is he with them? What 20 million followers? Crowds. Crowds don't impress us. We want to see your tatbiq upon the kitab and the sunnah. Just as Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal said about Al-Muhasibi, when they said to him, Ya Shaykh, but he quotes hadith. They said it to Ahmed ibn Hanbal. He said, Ya Shaykh, he quotes hadith of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He lowers his head in humiliation, in humility and humbleness. Ahmed ibn Hanbal became angry. He said, everyone who quotes a hadith of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and hangs his head in humility, you will follow him even though he's a mubtadi'. Look at the measure of Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimahullahu ta'ala. This is we, why we say what we say about sticking to the manhaj al-Salafi. It is a path that requires rijal. It requires rajula. Courage and strength and men and women who don't care about the numbers, they care about the truth. My brothers and sisters, from those affairs, 
that will give steadfastness and firmness to a person is that he calls to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the footsteps of the Anbiya. That his methodology in calling to Allah is upon the manhaj of the Anbiya, the prophets and the messengers and those who followed them from the Tabi'een or from the Sahaba of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and those who came after them and those who came after them Khairun Nas Qarni as Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the best of mankind is my generation Thumma Alladheena Yalunahum then those who come after them Thumma Alladheena Yalunahum then those who come after them and then the narrator said I do not know but I think he said it a third time Thumma Alladheena Yalunahum the first four generations and the Imams of Ahlul Hadith, the likes of Sufyan al Thawri, the likes of Malik ibn Anas, the likes of Al Awza'i and Sufyan bin Uyayna and Al Shafi'i and Ahmed ibn Hanbal and Imam al Bukhari and Muslim and Abu Dawood and Ibn Majah, and Ibn Batta, and Al-Barbahari, and Ibn Taymiyyah, and Ibn Qayyim, Muhammad bin Abdul Wahhab, Muhammad bin Shanqiti, Imam Sa'di, Ibn Baz, Ibn Thaymin, Al-Albani, Muqbil bin Hadi Al-Wadi'i, Muhammad Aman, Al-Jami, Ahmed Al-Najmi, Zayd Al-Madkhali, Rabi Al-Madkhali, Salih al-Fawzan al-Luhaydan. That is the path that we are upon. That is the manhaj of the Anbiya. That is the manhaj of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is our path, my brothers and sisters. This is the path that we call to and this is the path that we are upon, that we are upon, inshaAllah. And this is what will give you steadfastness. And we don't care about the blame of the blamers. As our Sheikh Al-Walid Al-Allama Ubaid bin Abdullah Al-Jabri said, when he was said to him, Ya Sheikh, it has reached us that five brothers, they left Masjid al-Salafi, Maktabatu Salafiyya, and they went to the Hizbis. He said, five? He said, Wallahi, if they all left, and left only five with you, it would not harm you. Five have left. Wallahi, if everyone left and only five remained upon the haqq, it would not harm you. How do you measure? Numbers, forsakers, abandoners, betrayers. You think that they harm the ranks of Ahlul Sunnah? Alhamdulillah, the masjid is filled such that people are standing outside on the sides at the back in the sister's area the same. But this is a blessing from Allah upon you. Allah has given you this bounty to find the truth. If you leave Ahlul Haqq, Ahlul Sunnah, you stray from the manhaj al sahih that does not harm except for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us thabat and istiqama. والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم